命とは罪を犯し続けるもの命とは悪そのものさあ殺しに来なさい Yoshimura is the manager of the Cafe Auntie Ku and a peacekeeper of the 20th district, formerly known as Kuzen. He tried to help all the ghouls who were unable to hunt independently. Yoshimura sheltered Khan Kiken and became his guide to the life of the ghouls. Under the pseudonym, One-Eyed Owl, he repeatedly tried to cover the real owner of this nickname. When the CCG realized that there were two owls, The investigators began calling him the non-killing owl. Later, it was revealed that the one-eyed owl is the daughter of Yoshimura and a human named Ukina. Appearance Yoshimura has swept back white hair and his eyes are usually closed. A tall, powerful man who is commonly in a formal way to uniform. When traveling he wears a black cape and a hat. He often smiles with his head held high and his arms behind his back. With a calm and a discreet nature, he is both an enigma and a gentleman. Yoshimura's cool mask covers half of his face with a hooked beak that resembles an owl. In the form of Kakuja, his Kagune creates a mask that resembles one-eyed owl, but there are slight differences in the length of the lines of the mouth and bends in the eye sockets. Personality Being a kind and generous old man, Yoshimura shows much greater wisdom and responsibility than the other ghouls. People like Nishiki often doubt his true intentions to be a peacekeeper in the 20th district, but he acts as a reliable ghoul who is ready for his subordinates. Being the head of the Antiku organization, he is not afraid to declare his authority. but his demands for the rest of the members seem quite acceptable and do not cause resentment on their part. Yoshimura is equally positive about both ghouls and people, which is a very rare worldview. His kind and honest character contrasts sharply with his behavior in the past. In the early years, when he was called Kuzen, Yoshimura was a lone wolf. His destructive power became a wall between him and others. He avoided others and closed his heart from everyone he faced. He resented his existence, as a ghoul, seeing in this a curse, because of which he is doomed to kill again and again, just to survive. After meeting Ukina, his personality took a change for the better. He began to slowly open up to her and eventually came to love her immensely. It is through his relationship with Ukina that Yoshimura decided to create Auntie Ku. and develop his goal to help those like his past self and other ghouls or humans in need. This is best represented with the birth of his child, a bridge between ghouls and humans. Yoshimura showed a deep parental love for her daughter. This is especially clearly shown at the moment when he decides to hire Detto in the 24th district from the eyes of the organization V, and also when it becomes a double of one eye owl. attacking the CCG headquarters in the second district. Yoshimura, because of his life values, follows a different path, different from the positions of people and ghouls, refusing to kill anyone. For this reason, he does not kill anyone during the attack on the CCG headquarters of the second district and during the assault on Agiri, but only injures those who attacked him. Although he has forsaken killing since leaving V, Yoshimura is clearly aware of how his past actions have caused irreversible damage to others. For this reason, seeing himself as evil, he is ready to accept death at the hands of his enemies, if something ever comes to this. Despite a feeling of disgust for himself, Yoshimura is still ready to kill in really desperate situations, when it is necessary to protect those who care about him, for example, his subordinates. History The man who eventually became Yoshimura was known as Kuzen. He was a ghoul who cursed his existence. Like the rest of the ghouls, he was forced to eat human, but for his own survival, he went so far as to eat even other ghouls. 
When his strength and abilities increased significantly, rumors of him spread widely throughout Tokyo, and one day reached the organization V. The organization offers him the position of a cleaner, and he decides to accept their offer. Being one of the cleaners of V, he quenched his hunger, killing opposing organizations of people and ghouls. Although he did not need anything more, Kuzen did not consider the organization his home, being still lonely. Once, when ordering coffee in one of the cafes, he meets a woman named Ukina. Despite the fact that he was a solitary person, closed from everyone, he lets her into his heart. At some point, Ukina was able to find out Kuzen's true identity. Kuzen contemplated killing her, but Ukina embraced him and saw how lonely his life had been. This event deepened Kuzen's love for Ukina and the two became lovers, and was eventually pregnant with Kuzen's child. He sincerely desires the birth of a child, but realizes that the chances of survival in a hybrid of a man and a ghoul are extremely low, since a child in the womb of a mother will die from exhaustion. He honestly talks about this to Ukina and believes that she has accepted this. Throughout Ukina's pregnancy, Kuzen observed her eating human meat. This helped increase the child's survival rate and eventually lived to survive birth. As Kuzen and Ukina lived together raising their child they named Deto, Kuzen noticed Ukina's diary and discovered she was not a waitress but a journalist who was chasing V and discovered many of their secrets. Both Kuzen and Ukina were not aware of each other's affiliations and met by chance. V learn about their relationship and order Kuzen to kill Ukina in order to protect the organization. Because the organization was too strong to confront it alone, Kuzan has nothing left but to reluctantly kill Ukina. After her death, Kuzan left V and left his child to Noro, an acquaintance in the 24th Ward, knowing the area was far enough to escape from V's grasp. After a long time, Kuzan, who changed his name to Yoshimura, hears about the appearance of One-Eyed Owl a ghoul who hates the whole world. He became convinced this ghoul was his child. Yoshimura gets rumors that his child was seriously injured during the battle with the CCG. Fearing that V can find out about his child and aim at her, Yoshimura himself attacks the second district instead of a real owl, thereby covering it. The CCG's team was unable to exterminate Yoshimura. However, the genius rank 2 investigator, Kishwarima, used the special class investigator's queen case as he went up against Tao. Finally, he defeated Owl, leading to the CCG's victory. After that, Yoshimura disappears for as long as 10 years. Weapons and Abilities Yoshimura is a very talented ghoul. Rumors about his power is widely spread throughout Tokyo. His abilities are enough to confront even a few investigators in special class at once. He was skilled enough to resist the army of investigators without much difficulty. During his work as a cleaner in Organization V, Kuzan gained considerable experience in the battle both with people and with ghouls. Honoredly considered one of the strongest ghouls. He has an Ukukukigune which is a speed type. He was able to develop two to four Kukuhu, which greatly expanded the functionality of his Kigune. His rich experience of battles and high concentration of RC cells allow him to fight effectively both in near and long range combat. The basic form of Gyuzen's Kigune formed like a muscle blade. This is rare among long range fighters. It takes the form of a long and wide muscular blade that appears over the shoulder. This Kigune is suitable for both piercing and chopping attacks. In his youth, working for V, Yoshimura perfectly mastered the ability, because the tasks of the cleaner included numerous murders of both people and other ghouls. Another form of his Kigune is like a crystal plumage which is designed for range combat. It is a dense cluster of crystalline spines behind Yoshimura's shoulders. Able to conduct an intensive bombardment by numerous fragments from crystallized RC cells. 
It has two modes of fire, rapid fire with a wide range of projectiles and heap, firing a dense cluster of fragments like a shotgun. Thanks to such an arsenal, Yoshimura is able to deal with enemies both at a long distance and on the nearest, if the enemy manages to get close to him. Kuzan's frequent cannibalism led to a rapid accumulation of RC cells and the development of Kakujikagune. Since Yoshimura tried to distract the attention of CCG from his daughter at all costs, he reliably copied her Kakuji uniform with one-eyed owl. The only difference is the size, by its dimensions Kuzan was slightly larger than the original one-eyed owl. On his owl form, he has a strong armor covering his body and a solid one-eyed mask. The main Kagune is replaced by two muscle blades exceeding the original blade in width, length, sharpness and strength. Their form is slightly modified and is likened to scimitars. In addition, the crystal plumage on the back is enlarged and extended blades reminiscent of wings are added. While Yoshimura's plumage and wings are used for medium and long distances, his blades cut everyone who approaches him too closely. For this reason, it is almost impossible to approach him closely. Yoshimura has a higher regenerative ability, exceeding human. In the past, he lost both hands in the battle with Kisho Arima, but later he was able to restore them without the slightest deviation. Did you know? Number 1 In the first character popularity poll, Yoshimura was ranked 17th. In the latest, he came in as 37th. Number 2 his dream is to share a cup of coffee with his beloved daughter. He even saved an antique coffee cup for that very day, however, on how Eto sees him and with the impending raid on Auntie Ku, he realizes that his dream won't come true after all. Number 3 In the manga, Yoshimura kills Ukina, while in the second season of Tokyo Ghoul, Yoshimura runs off with Ukina and her daughter and then a member of Organization V kills Ukina. Also, rather than fearing the organization like he did in the manga and leaving his child in the 24th Ward, in the anime, Yoshimura killed the attackers in order to protect his child and to avenge his lover. Number 4 He usually refers to everyone in his work with the honorific, Kun, San and Dono. Number 5. Yoshimura has a great fondness for and skill at wordplay, a fact focused on in one of the Amabian audio dramas. Number 6. A difference on the manga and anime, whereas on the manga, he left Eto to Nora to take care of her. While on the anime, he left Eto on the street in the 24th ward, and when he came back, Eto was gone. Number 7. In Tokyo Ghoul Trump, he is referenced as the King of Clubs. He also appears in the PS Vita game Tokyo Ghoul Jail which was released on October 1, 2015. Number 8. Without his aid, Renji could have been killed by Arima during their encounter. He appeared in the right time to save Renji, thus, Renji giving his loyalty to him. Number 9. For violent ghouls he has no choice but to use his power. He shows the ghouls what power is, by beating them into submission and shoving to them the reality. When they realized their wrongdoings, he became a kind grandfather to them, forcing them to submission of course for their sake. Number 10. His eyes most of the times are shut. When he opened those, he usually reveals his kakigan and was about to imply some important statement, or shit's about to get serious. Number 11. When he was captured by her daughter, he was kept inside a liquid tank on Dr. Kano Wu's lab. There he was farmed for the surgery transplant to make one-eyed ghouls. Number 12. It was unknown how many humans died during the experiment using Yoshimura. However, 
There is one successful owl and a single floppy that had been produced among the 63 kidnapped ghoul investigators. The experiment lasted three years. Number 13. His Japanese voice actor as Kuzan is Taitan Kusunoki, who also voiced Nail in Dragon Ball Kai, Black King in Drifters, and Green Lantern in Justice League to name a few. While his Japanese voice actor as Yoshimura is Takeyuki Sago, who also voiced Shoryu in One Piece, Zangetsu in Bleach and Hashirama in Naruto to name a few. Number 14. He has similarities to Mado. Both are older and wiser mentors to a protagonist, and both men were changed by the death of the woman they loved. Both also have a very significant daughter they are devoted to. While Mado's loss twists him into a cruel and hateful man, Yoshimura is changed for the better and wishes to honor his lost love by finding a peaceful way to live. Number 15. His English voice actor as Kuzan is Jason Douglas, who also voiced Claude in Black Butler 2, Gil Darts and Livia in Fairy Tale, and Beerus in Dragon Ball to name a few. While his English voice actor as Yoshimura is Sean Hannigan, who also voiced Koki in Psycho Pass 2, Meizu Avaro in Bacano, and Goldie Roger in One Piece to name a few. To know more about Yoshimura or the world of Tokyo Ghoul, please visit the wiki page.